Welcome to the Secrets Women Keep podcast. I am your secret keeper and confidant, Lauren White. I'm a qualified counsellor and sexologist, facilitator of all things turn on, author of permission, and a witty, highly intuitive lounge room dancing introvert. I help you as an exceptional woman in entrepreneurship to see, love, and trust all the parts of yourself, especially the unseen. Let's pull back the curtain, light the candelabra, and lift the veil. These are the secrets women keep. This episode is brought to you by the VIP Experience with Lauren White. The VIP Experience is the in-person private retreat to help you cultivate and create the version of yourself that you've been too afraid to unleash until now. One day, no group, just you. Full immersion. Your personal success awaits. Available in select lavish Australian locations and internationally from 2022. Ultimate luxury and full discretion guaranteed. To request your invite, go to laurenwhite.com.au forward slash retreat. You have a secret. You think that you're keeping it really well, but I'm here to burst your bubble. Deep down, you already know. I mean, you're the one lugging that heavy mask on every day to try and convince us otherwise. Only the more you try to put the mask on, the less effective it becomes. The veil between the you that you try to project and the you that people see is thinning. You think you've gotten away with it, but I'm sorry to tell you that you're wearing the exact same metaphorical mask along with all the other ordinary public figures and pioneers out there, all the other generic, palatable leaders doing their thing, thinking they have no idea. I know you're wearing this mask. I'm not going to keep you in suspense anymore. You're wearing the mask of self-sufficiency. You're wearing it and you need to remove it. But I have a team and a personal trainer and I go to my Eastern healers and all of my health appointments. Fabulous. You're supported in so many ways by a plethora of professionals. Thing is, it's all strategic, not energetic, not emotional, and definitely not personal. Strategic. How everyone does it is they hire a team. They do strategy first, energy second. What if I said that you're doing it wrong? That that model is workable, but it's not cultivating the most totally turned on you. You're treating your business, your brand, what happens in the boardroom with the utmost care, first class all the way, and your internal world, your richest resource is getting economy class. That's where the mask of self-sufficiency is really sneaky. It will convince you that you're ticking the boxes of support. It will whisper in your ear that you're doing all the right things and excavating all the deepest places. It will have you think, I allow myself to be supported as a pioneer in the public eye. The truth is, even though your business has grown, you haven't. You're still stuck in old ways of self-sufficiency. Not letting anyone see the unseen parts of you. Pause. Cast your mind back to the last time you knew you had to put the mask of self-sufficiency on. One of those moments where someone looks into your eyes and you suspect they see what you don't want them to see. The real you. The vulnerable you. The one that feels fraudulent. Flawed. The one that can't bear to admit that your success on paper 
hasn't translated to the true feeling of success on the inside. If you knew another way around it, a way that you could have both, you would have felt it and experienced it by now, but you haven't. The cracks are forming. The mask of self-sufficiency has lied to you. Now you know you're one step closer to taking it off. But what exactly happens when you take the mask of self-sufficiency off? The answer? Pure magic. Like all the parts of you can finally slot together. As though everything inside of you makes sense. The sweetest taste of surrender. You feel fulfilled. Integrated. Whole. No longer searching in the same places that never gave you the satisfaction you craved. What's sublime in this life isn't outside of you. It's inside and it yearns to meet you. These are all the things that aren't available to you for as long as the mask of self-sufficiency is controlling your life, your energy, your everything. How can I make such an audacious claim? Because I've helped a select number of exceptional women, women exactly like you, to remove the mask of self-sufficiency so that they can finally access and express their sovereignty, magnetism, and personal power. We always do it with precision, and we always do it in total luxury. This calling of mine, it's relentless. From nursing to counselling and being a qualified sexologist who was awarded the highest academic achievement in her cohort, I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to tuning into you and your personal life with immediacy, integrity and intuition. I know all about the secrets women keep and what you do to try and pull it off in public when all you really want is to completely belong to yourself. I've taken my love of women's stories and most private admissions and turned them into a proven framework. A framework that gives you the safety you need to reveal your secret self in a potent and personalized way. When you do this, you align your energy and vitality to what I call your total turn on. Your total turn on is more than permission, and it's way more than a green light to be 100% yourself in and out of the business, brand, and bedroom. Your total turn on is your essence you've denied yourself until now. It's your key to what will actually have you feeling successful. Now, there's something that you need to know. I've been where you are. I've worn the mask of self-sufficiency and it cost me. In early 2020, my life and business collided at a totally inopportune moment. I was eating with a group of friends in a bustling restaurant. As I was speaking, first came the thoughts, then came the feeling, and then swooped in that deep-seated belief of inadequacy and how unsuccessful I felt when really I had the success on paper. Like a dam, I was about to burst. I retreated to this cavernous restroom where not another soul was in there. And I went there to simultaneously let myself go and pull myself together. I lost track of time. In the echo of that bathroom stall, I didn't have anyone to reach out to. I didn't have a confidant to tap a quick SOS message to. And then I knew. I needed to become the woman on the other side of that message. To be there for the public figures and pioneers and generators when they were in their bathroom store moments. The bathroom store moments are those times in life where you need to come undone in here but life is asking you to keep your shit together out there. It's all to maintain this image of success. 
It was after that moment that I finally released the mask of self-sufficiency and got the support that I needed. There is no utopia where work and your personal life are neatly organized in perfect compartments that have one swiftly ending and one seamlessly beginning. I totally get the struggle between the two. I live it. What I've learned is not only how to juggle the balls life throws, but to know what ones are made of plastic and what ones are made of glass. I don't need to spell it out. You've just realized that your personal life is made of glass and that's the ball you're no longer willing to drop. Now I get how fucking reluctant you feel about confiding in someone you don't know yet, but you've got a feeling, a pull, that I just might be the safest space for you to be just you, whatever that looks like. And look, it's not like you can't make your own way through this. You could. You're resourceful and strategic. It's just that I'm going to activate you a whole lot quicker and with a whole lot more precision than when you DIY with the mask of self-sufficiency still firmly attached. Now, this is the part where I invite you to join my revolution. I'm not going to invite you to find out. I know being invited doesn't turn you on. You get invited to join things that don't turn you on all the time. Now that you feel it, the indescribable, I'm asking that you self-select, that you make yourself known to me, that you say, I'm in, I'm ready, I am ripe to remove this mask. When you do, I'm all in for you. There's no false scarcity or pressure here. No countdowns. Just your own timeline. I know you can't wait any longer. And I only collaborate with the women of the world who are the cherry on top of the most decadent dessert. And when you know that's you, you just know. The VIP experience is here to meet you. Always in your corner. Lauren.